you already know astronauts float in space. We call this the effect of zero gravity. Did you know you can book a flight inside the Earth's atmosphere that lets you experience zero gravity? You can float like an astronaut, but inside the Earth's atmosphere. Such a flight is known as a zero gravity flight. In this flight, the plane flies in a long parabolic path to simulate zero gravity or weightlessness inside the cabin. What is this weightlessness that you experience? Let's find out. Suppose we enter an elevator. A spring balance is also placed in the elevator. Initially, when a stone is suspended from the spring balance, it shows some reading on the scale. As soon as the lift starts moving up, the thrust of the floor on our feet increases and we feel heavier. At this moment, the spring balance shows an increased reading on its scale. If the cable of the lift snaps, the lift starts falling down as it is completely unsupported. It comes down with a constant downward acceleration, which is equal to g, and we would also fall with the same acceleration. Hence, we get no support from the floor. And on noticing, we find that the spring balance shows zero reading, despite the weight still being attached to the scale. In this case, the lift, the person, and the spring balance are all said to be in a state of freefall. When the objects are in the state of freefall, we say that they experience weightlessness. Weightlessness is simply the absence of any observable effect of gravitation during a state of freefall. Let us understand the weightlessness in detail. Suppose a book is kept on a table. There are two forces acting on this book. First is the force of the Earth's gravitational field, which pulls it downwards. This force can be termed as a non-contact force, as it does not require the bodies to be in physical contact. Second is an upward normal force exerted by the table, which pushes it upwards. This force is termed as a contact force. It exists only if there is physical contact between the two bodies. The upward normal force is equal to the downward force of gravity. The strength of this normal force gives a measure of the weight of the book. Now, remove the table from underneath the book so that the book is left hanging in the air. The downward gravitational force still acts on the book, but without the contact force of the table. There is no means of feeling the force of gravity, which is a non-contact force. Hence, we can say that the book hanging in the air and undergoing free fall is in the condition of weightlessness. Going back to the example of free fall of the lift, when the cable of the lift snaps, we lose support from the floor and the contact force acting on our feet due to the floor is also removed. As a result, the sensation of weight caused because of the force of gravity cannot be felt. Hence, the physiological sensation of weight disappears and we feel weightless during freefall. Similarly, the spring balance suspended in the elevator also accelerates downward with the same rate as the elevator. Hence, no force from the spring balance is acting on the stone. Thus, the spring balance is not able to register any weight of the stone. You have probably seen images of astronauts floating about in a spacecraft, just as any object without a support is in a state of freefall, the spacecraft, which orbits around the Earth, is also in a state of freefall. Here, 
the gravitational force acting on this spacecraft at that particular height acts as the centripetal force due to which the spacecraft maintains its circular motion around the Earth. Hence, during such a freefall of the spacecraft, its walls exert no force on the astronaut. Due to the absence of any contact force, he is unable to judge his weight, which means he feels weightless and floats about in the vehicle. Let's summarize what we have studied. Weightlessness is the absence of the sensation of weight. It occurs due to the absence of contact forces between the objects. Astronauts in a spacecraft executing uniform circular motion around the Earth experience weightlessness due to this absence of contact forces. Why is it easier to stretch rubber than steel? Why do some materials bend more easily than others? To understand this, we will learn about the mechanical properties of solids in the upcoming sessions. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.